down this canal uh, moving pretty good uh, not too much drag I got a tackle box back here power pole so got quite a bit of weight on the back uh, tiller arm needs to be longer you can see you know I can't reach it with my seat turned I gotta lean forward but uh, if the tiller arm was longer I think it'd be good and that's the mount from Jackson so uh, yeah, tiller arm needs to be longer. Alright, so I'm uh, using this uh, motor right here. It's made by the same people that do the uh, flex drive. Uh, I'm just trying it out. I'm out here in the bayou right now. Uh, salt water, just a uh, I'm going to do a little fun fish and see so right now i have it at full speed i have the jackson mount i'm running the 22 volt battery that you can get with the flex drive uh, the tiller arm does need to be longer it is too short uh, mount it up really easy it's real quick and right now i'm it says i'm five mile per hour right now so that's a pretty good speed uh, i'll do some more testing a little bit later uh, so i'll catch up y'all later Okay, folks hope you can see this i used the electric motor to get me out to my spot today so i'm not real familiar with it so i'll show you so of course you know it's like the jackson flex drive we have the key all right it's a magnetic key has to go in takes three seconds it can work now you pull the engine up like this and you got the thing so when you want to put it down you just rotate it and you can see and it'll lock into place now you got the key so there's reverse and then you know forward uh, so that's reverse right there now oh I forgot something so uh, hang with me okay so before that so that's how you deploy it now when you want to pull it back up you just pull this just pull the arm and then it'll slide and it, it locks into place all right and it's out of the way but before you go anywhere you need to make sure your rudder is up 
because if your rudder is not up there is a lot of drag on the rudder so push it up turned it and then what I did is I turned my rudder to where my rudder is right there if you have it too far over there's a lot of water I'll show you but have it straight so I shouldn't hit nothing out here so turn it on now I'm going forward and you know there's you know the, the tiller arm needs to be bigger but you can see you know how, how it moves now what I was talking about about the rudder see the rudder if I have the rudder over so much water comes up so just straighten the rudder out some up against it and when I was coming out I was going five miles per hour so you know turn you turn pretty sharp I mean you could turn sharper if I had a if I didn't have a short tiller arm but uh you know, it works pretty good right now I also have the pedals down so you can see I have the pedals down so just uh you know I think it would be a I think it'd be great if just the tiller arm it's really light it was easy to put on uh, it's easy to, to work so and you know this is an old motor it's not a new one they don't, I don't, they don't tell how many miles this motor's got on but you know and then when you want to cut it off just cut it off you know and what I do is I pull this because I have a bad habit of hitting the knob and I pull it up then just pull and it automatically releases so pull I slide it forward and then I just put that down there out of my way to where I can turn turn and everything and then that's that's it uh, hope this video helps you out uh, hope it shows you.